Okay. Departed Act Lou Hubbard is a close reading of my text, Likely, in three acts. Act one, like me. Act two, like Lou. Act three, it looks like it will rain. Act one, likely, like me. My mother is now 90, but like she started going through her things 20 years ago. I got this. Hold up celebrated marches for piano, publisher Allen & Co, Australia, 1934. Repas Band, composed by Charles C. Sweely, is the only tune from this folio that I heard my mother play, and only if the mood took her, like on New Year's Eve, would she agree to sing along to it, sing the song for me. It is only one line long. Go home to your mother, you red-headed bugger, you don't belong to me. Sing the song for me. Go home to your mother, you red-headed bugger, you don't belong to me. As the fair-haired child of the family, this was my song. (laughs) Turn page. Act two. Likely, like Lou. The egg separation ceremonial. One, warm up, cough, sip water, implore the audience to trust me, this will take time, there is order here. Be patient. (coughs) Two, crack egg number one, separate white, Place into bowl, wipe hands. You may need to swing your chair. You may notice the heels of the loafers that I am wearing are like meringue or cuttlefish or thick plaster like royal icing that trims brick churches. Three, crack egg number two, proceed as for egg one, swing chair. Philippe Stark designed my loafers. A pair like these is under glass in Paris in the permanent collection at the Pompidou Centre. Four. Crack eggs three, four, and five, proceed as for egg two, wipe hands after each separation. Swing chair.
My Philippe Stark collectibles were first worn in the video Beat Me 2008 when I performed whisking a half dozen egg whites. Image one, please, Eric. No, no, Eric, the next one, please. Here I am seated like a drummer, my snare of egg whites clenched between my thighs. I whisk the whites with a wire brush that is sensitive and responsive to the softest strokes needed to form soft peaks. Then, with powerful accents and strokes more vigorous, firm peaks, eventually whipping like crazy to form stiff peaks. <laughs> I beat to the thunderous drumming of a Renaissance dance playing from a Sanyo boombox. Sanyo boombox. Sanya is the friend who gave me the shoes. After she agreed, they didn't fit her like they should. Turn page. Crack egg six and proceed as for egg three. <sighs> Image two, please, Eric. Thank you. Here sit my Sennheiser headphones I wore to listen to the Renaissance drumming. Today I am wearing Bose noise-cancelling headphones for the racket that is to come. <laughs> six, crack egg seven, proceed as for egg six. My chair, a swivelling 70s bar stool from the basement of Commercial Radio 3XY Melbourne 1982, is height adjustable. <laughs> now it is at maximum height for me to be seen reading closely. In 2007, I stuck a pair of nail scissors into the seat and it became the artwork scissor chair. Image three, please, Eric. A bit faster if you could. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Seven. Crack egg eight, proceed as for egg seven. As you can see, this chair is upholstered in two-tone yellow vinyl, like egg yolks. I look at the deep orange yolk of the backrest and imagine the egg is from a pasture-raised hen and likely has better nutritional qualities than the yellow yolk of my seat laid by a caged hen. Eight, crack eggs nine, 10 and 11, proceed as for eggs three, four and five. Stand by, Eric. <laughs> oh, yuck. 
oh dear. This may not be pretty. Oh. Well done, me. Oh, okay. Okay, turn page. These glasses I am wearing are Alain Mickley vintage, handmade in Paris, 1980. Clear lenses now, but, but black lenses when I came across them under glass at Salima Optic. Optic. Optica. So, oh. So, ho, New York, 2012. The frames struck me like train tracks, like vinyl records. Image four, please, Eric. Let Eric through. As you see, I chose the train track option for my artwork train crossing. I chose the vinyl option too. This remains to be explained. Nine, crack egg 12, proceed as for egg 11. Dip hands in water, dry hands thoroughly. In train crossing, ah, a toy steam train snapped off the top of a pencil sharpener is stuck on the tracks, unable to cross the bridge of the spectacle frames. The sound is stuck too, like a vinyl record. 38 seconds of video, please, Eric. Run, Eric. <laughs> Press play, Eric. Crossings can be exhilarating. <laughs> Crossings can be fraught. 10. Turn table 90 degrees. Turn page. Act three, likely. It looks like it will rain. Towards a departure for the art world, three crossings, three years apart. Peaks and troughs are forecast. Prepare headphones. Place bowl in lap. Prepare whisk as batten.
use batten as snare, whisk whites one minute. With twice the egg load as the previous decade, you may be some time. Do the best you can. Eric, please time me. One, one, one minute, Eric. Thank you, Eric. 1990, the first crossing. I am not in art during postmodernism in Melbourne. I am in a gallery visiting an exhibition of Louise's. Yes, the artists on show have my name. Louise, 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 ah, and Louise Anne. Is this an amazing coincidence? or more likely by design. The room sheet does not mention anything about it. Beat furiously, five seconds. Oh, Eric, I might need your help. One second. Now five. Imagine an exhibition of works on paper that is not about mark making, but is an exhibition of artists named Mark. I, I, want to have, I want to have this matter of Louise settled, but as an art world outlier, I hesitate to bother the attendant at the desk. It may just be a thing, a 50s, 60s, 70s even, girl's name kind of thing and the thing least relevant to the soft sculptures and text paintings before me. Turn page. Ugh. Beat curiously for 10 seconds. Wait, Eric. Okay. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> I, I, I bother the attendant. The attendant is not bothered. Another artist, Sarah, is listed over the page. Here, see? There. There, there. There is order here. Beat feverishly, 2.5 minutes. Wait, Eric. 2.5 minutes, please time me, Eric, from now.
Thanks, Eric. <laughs> hmm. Nineteen ninety three. It is a rough crossing to Tasmania. A perfect blue sky and calm waters take us into the strait. Seals are on seal rock and an actor is on board. At the turn of the tide, the tide turns. The sea cat leaps into the air, surges full throttle, troughs and swells. Swells, swelling, swells higher, higher, hour upon hour, reaching, lurching, lunging, lurching, lurching, reaching, lurching, lunge, lunge, lurch, lurch, reach, lurch, lurch, lunge, lunge, lurch, lurch, lunge, 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 reach, seasickness all around me, like egg on toast, unset like Egon Sheila. Turn page. <laughs> but I do not throw up. I fix my eyes upon a man's head, his comb over risen like a high top loaf of bread. I draw the man's head in my mole skin, like my skin, like raisins and sultanas cut Side view, loaf, brioche, brioche, brioche like French toast. Beat on high for one minute. Oh. I'll time myself, Harry. Nineteen ninety five. Another Louise exhibition. Turn page. Nineteen ninety five. The other Louise exhibition. The works of Louise Bourgeois are at the National Gallery of Victoria until November twenty seven. I am here now at the foot of the escalators, stuck in a field of sticks pulled into the orbit of sticks. Some touch each other and huddle, featureless mostly, brancusi sticks, sticks of rubber and wood. Like a group of people at a party, nothing is as it seems. I check the labels. Rubber looks like clay, marble like metal, bronze like wood. I need to touch the sticks to be sure. Just a quick feel. One and others. I can make these sticks. I'm pretty sure I can. Just like her. No fear. I can make my own sticks. Sharp or blunt, shameful, painful or pleasant. Likeness counts for little, Freud said. 
He would, I said. Turn page. Beat softly, slowly, stop. whisk on bar table, wipe mess, wipe hands, remove headphones. Oh, that feels good. Tip bowl upside down attentively, like a rotisserie, like real slow. <laughs> Raise bowl above head. Conclude with postscript. I want to age like Patti Smith, but eyes left, but you do not look like anything like her, not at all. You want to age like Patti Smith. You are not Patti Smith. You do not look anything like her. Lower the bowl. <laughs> Place on bar table. Thank audience for their endurance. Thanks for hanging in there. Close book or turn page close book. Thank you, Shannon. Okay.